Hey everyone, and happy holidays. This is Anime Gamer 20 uh, coming at you with a Japan Crate unboxing. It's the holiday one. I was actually doing um, my stream earlier over on Twitch when my package arrived, so I'm so excited. So yeah, we're definitely going to open this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I was very excited, like I just wanted to open it right away and tear through it. I'm like, no, 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 I gotta do, you know, proper unboxing video. I might have opened it, but I don't exactly know everything that's in here. So, I like the box artwork, by the way. I just want to point that out. They always have, like, cute stuff. They have the generic ones, but I know that they have, um, when they have the special boxes, they have cute little designs and everything. And inside the box, too, they have little gingerbread men and stuff. It's really cute. Alright, so we got this cool little thing. It's a little magazine um, that's in here. It has um, the name of all the products, the description of the products, uh, whether you're getting a mini, an original, or a premium, whatever the bonus item is, some other stuff in Japanese, uh, stuff that's happening in Japan. So um, phrases in Japanese and words, I'll learn some Japanese. Uh, they have uh, different events that happen over there, different festivals and stuff like that. It's really cool. And then also, uh, you can go to the Sugoi? Sugao? I'm probably mispronouncing it. But you can go there, and there's a code there for $3 off. Um, you know, I think it's the same one that's on all these flyers, so it's okay. <laughs> um, and then they also have like little contests in here. And also, if you have a, if you get a DIY kit, it has the directions on how to to do them. So I know it's a little dark in here. That's on purpose because we have our Christmas tree here. Uh, it's also our stream's Christmas tree um, over on Twitch. Okay, so first item that we're gonna um, it's a strawberry and milk cream cake. So it's a little, it's a cute little snack cake that looks tasty. So it's a, it's a mini sponge cake. It's filled with strawberry cream and coated with a yummy cream coating. Nice. Okay, we have this one. It says Rakuta Bay Pocket? I don't know. Maybe that just means to open the pocket. I don't, I don't know what that means. Um, okay, yeah, so it's a pocket that you can open up to eat your snack out of. That's interesting. So you can actually open the back to eat the snack. So this one is Smoky Pretz smoked cheese flavor. So I like cheese flavored stuff. So that looks good. It's a smoked cheese flavor. Um, does it say what kind of cheese flavor? So it's a cheese biscuit. Um, ooh, smoked with cherry blossom wood. That sounds good. It's thinner and crispier than the usual pretz. Um, snacks. That's cool. I can't wait to try that one. I love cheese flavored stuff. Okay. Um, so those are both original sizes. This is a mini size that we have here. The Puku Pukutai Ichigo. Uh, so it's one of the Taiyaki, um, the Japanese fish shaped dessert. This one's one of the wafer ones. Um, and it looks like it's strawberry flavored filling. As I drop it. Um, yeah, it's strawberry flavored. Strawberry flavored chocolate filling. So I guess it's strawberry and chocolate. Yummy. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, and then we have a grape product here. Uh, this is a grape gummy. I love grape gummies. Uh, so yeah. It's a gummy and it's grape. And I'm sure it's yep. I'm gonna try it right now very quickly because I love grape gummies. Oh, this smells so good. It smells like that uh the was it muscat or however you pronounce it? It's almost like a white grape. They're so tiny. They smell so good. Mmm. Those are really good. 
Uh, next thing we have, this is so cute. Like, I wish they had this packaging over here in the U.S. So this is cute. Like, tell me that's not adorable. It's so cute. Like, that's something where I would get that as a stocking stuffer if they had it over here. Next year, I might go online and see if I can buy that stuff. Um, that's so cute. I can't find it on here. Uh, it's a mini one. It's a Christmas pizza corn snack. So it's a corn snack that is pizza flavored. So that's good. Because I felt it. It feels like those little, um, those little cheese balls. Um, but it's pizza flavored. So I'm very excited to try this one. I really am. Cute little packaging. So this is, this package definitely felt hefty. Um, you know, it comes with a beverage. You never know if it's going to be a, uh, glass bottle, a plastic bottle, um, a can or a pl you know, plastic bottle. You never really know until you open it up. So this one is a premium. It's the Japan Cola Caramel Punch. So that should be interesting. So I guess it's like a caramel cola flavor. I have a few I haven't tried yet. It's it like I want to try them, but I also just kind of want to collect them. Um, so I'm a little torn. Okay, this one's uh, original. It's a petite donut biscuit Christmas version. So it's a little donut shaped biscuit. So it's supposed to look like a little Christmas wreath on the packaging. A little snowman. That's cute. This one is... I think this is the Christmas Yochi. Okay, yeah, so it's different... So it's a Yochi, and there's different ones. Like, the one in the picture is, like, white with a little red stocking. Um, it's kind of hard to see. It's right there. It says, which one did you get? So the one I actually got is a red one with Santa holding the little snack, because he's enjoying one himself. Okay, then we have... Um, Yumabo. Uh, this one's chocolate. So interesting. So it's the little, you know, the, the little corn snack sticks, but it's chocolate. So that should be interesting. Very interesting. Um, because like some of their corn products has more of a distinct corn taste as opposed to some of the corn products over here, um, you know, in, in the U.S., because it'll be corn flavored, but it's different because over there, some of their snacks actually taste like corn. So it's interesting to see because it's not going to, I don't think it's going to taste just like, you know, like, ooh, chocolate covered popcorn like it might over here. Like, I'm wondering if it's going to taste like chocolate and corn. We'll find out. We'll find out. I like, I've tried some of their snack sticks and they're really good. The teri I think it was like a teriyaki one I had. It was super tasty. Okay, so we have this thing, and it's Curious George. And... Let's make, with Curious George, homemade pudding. It's, a, it's one of the DIYs. You make a pudding in the face of Curious George with a rich caramel sauce. And then in here actually has the instructions on how to do that. So... And if you feel it, you can actually feel the mold. It's like a little plastic guy. We're getting to the bottom of the box and I'm getting sad because it's almost empty. These ones, these look tasty and I can't wait to eat these. They, they're they like baby, baby pancakes. It's a little, it's a little pancake there on the package of pancakes. He looks happy. He's a very happy pancake. Yeah, so that was an original size on that, uh, the Curious George thing. This one's a maple hot cake. It's a mini. Um, it's a favorite for the cooler seasons. It's a duriyaki snack. It's a type of Japanese confection traditionally filled with an anko red bean filling between two small pancake-like patties. This one in particular contains a delicious maple syrup cream in the center that's perfect for the holiday season. So I guess, oh, so in the center of these, it's a, oh, I hope I can 
like, because I see some of this stuff, and I so want to buy it online. Some of it you can, some of it you can't, so I hope I can find some of this stuff online. Okay, this is a chocolate hit flake. Uh, chocolate hit flakes. It's a rice puff with an ultra crispy texture. Pour the cup of tea or milk for a perfect and sweet ending to a long day. So this is a premium item. Is it upside down? No, it's right side up. Okay, that was upside down. This is a big bag of something. These look tasty and interesting. That looks so cute. So Black Thunder Mini Bar Christmas. Enjoy and share one of the Japan's most popular chocolate candy bars. It's a Black Thunder this holiday season. Uh, it's a, So this is a seasonal packaging. The candy bar contains a cocoa flavored cookie bar mixed with Japanese style rice puffs. And it's coated with a final layer of chocolate. Need we say more, but yum. This is a premium item. This is a nice hefty bag of sweets. It's so cute, the packaging on here too. There's something on the back. So I guess it shows something. I don't know what it's trying to say on the back, but I guess it has like individual packaging. We're going to open this. Some kind of candy, yes. Mm, the bag, like the bag of stuff smells good. So I guess each one's okay. So they're cute little bite-sized treats. And there's like mini games, I guess, on the back, like match games. But each of... Oh, yeah, there's different kinds of games on the back of these that you can play. Like little... It's like little games in the back of the packaging. Like, you know, spot the difference, match up, mazes, and stuff like that. But they have different ones. Like, they have... Uh, it's like supposed to be kind of like a gingerbread man, I guess. Just like different characters. They have different ones. They're so cute. Uh, let's try one of them. Yeah, so I mean, that's like a decent size. It really is. That looks super tasty. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. Um. The, what, how it kind of tastes, the crunchy, is if you've ever had... An ice cream cake, like a Friendly's ice cream cake, or Carvel ice cream cake, or one of the, I forgot, Dairy Queen's the other one. But you have the ice cream cake, they have like the little chocolate crunchies. That's what this tastes like. It's so good. Mm. Right now, in this entire box, this is my favorite thing. I mean, uh, the other stuff is good, too. Like, I know I'm going to like it or it's going to be super tasty to try. But, I'm like, that's my favorite thing, hands down. Like, oh. It's like if you made, like, a candy bar of all the crunchy stuff. So, we only have a few more items left. So, this is... This is a premium item. It's Super Mario Brother Gum. doesn't want to focus. That's fine. Um, so... I wonder what... It doesn't say what flavor it is. I'll try that later. I mean, if there was more than one, I'd try it just to see what flavor it is right now, but... Okay, then we have a mini. This is apple-flavored gum. Simple. It's... Apple flavored gum. Okay, and then we have the Pero Stick Strawberry. This is an original size one. This is a cute little container. It's a nice, nice little snack size container. Uh, the stick biscuits dipped in yummy strawberry cream in a convenient cup. So these ones are already pre dipped. So you have like Pocky, for instance, they're pre dipped. And then I forgot the other brand that they have where it comes in a cup, I think, slightly bigger than this, where it has the cream and you can dip it. But I think this one... Oh, no. Okay, no. This one you do dip. It's not pre-dipped because it shows the picture. 
and you can dip it because I know that that's awesome. And then the one thing I can't wait to try, I'm definitely gonna rip it open in this video. It's this is the bonus item and it's Cheesecake Kit Kat. Um, it's their newest release of Kit Kats over in Japan. Uh, let's see the Cheesecake Edition. It's been trending popular. Uh, cheesecake has been trending popular in Japan, and each bar has cheese powder and salt in the cream to bring out more of the yummy cheesecake flavor. So I'm reading descriptions. I'm taking it from this little thing here, guys. But yeah, so this is it. I love the look, you know, the baked look on the cheesecake. Um, oh, no way. No way. That is, oh, it's so cool. So... You can warm them up. I guess you can warm them up in a microwave. Looks like it has 1,000 watt. So you'd probably have to look this up online to try to, you know, to try to figure out how to actually do this. Um, but you can actually warm them up in the microwave, I guess, or you can, like, pop them in the fridge or freezer. So you can either have hot or chilled cheesecake. I know one of the previous packages that I got was a, uh, was it like a white chocolate sea salt or something like that? It was so good. And the paper that they're made out of, it had instructions on how to make it into like an origami turtle. Uh, there's a special one where every so many yen uh, went towards uh, the sea turtle stuff. I don't know if it was just for sea turtles or if it was like, you know, for the environment in general, you know, for the ocean. It was pretty neat that they, they had that to bring extra awareness. See, these are the mini ones. They're so... Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Hmm. I can taste the cream. Like, it's interesting taste. It's not overpowering, either. But you, you taste like... You do taste a hint of, like, cheese. And then you also can taste the, um, the cream. Almost like, um... Almost like if you made whipped cream at home with, like, whipping cream. So, yeah, this is, this is good. Those are good. Those are really good. Mm, that's like a creamy, a really creamy aftertaste. And I still have the other half of the chocolate candy bar left. So it's hard. It's hard. I don't know which one's my favorite. I mean, I love, this is like definitely an interesting, interesting flavor. Um, but it's good. It tastes good. And then this one, I love too. Like, I love cheesecake and I love chocolate crunchies in those ice cream cakes. So these, mm, all mine. I and Sharon. Uh uh. So thank you mm, so much for everyone who stopped by to check out this video. I definitely appreciate it. Um, if you can please, you know, click that like button. Um, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below. I would definitely appreciate it. And I definitely plan on doing uh, more of these videos. So thank you. Uh, you know, thank you so much for everyone that watches these and I appreciate it. So to everyone out there, have a safe, happy, and healthy holiday. Happy holidays, everyone.